my gosh, I messed up. This is bad. I can't let her be taken away by Child Protective Services. Evelyn will take good care of you. I'm so sorry, Marco. I love you. I'm so sorry I can't be the mother you deserve. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday, sweetie. I can't believe you're finally legal. Woo Ooh, thank you so much. I can't believe I'm 18. I feel so old. If you're old, then I'm ancient. Come on, blow out your candles. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mom. You're the best. I love you. I love you, too. So come on out to the kitchen, because I made your favorite birthday breakfast. Pop-tarts and apple juice, pop-tarts and apple juice, pop-tarts and apple juice. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's so grown up. My sweet baby girl is 18. Happy birthday. Finally 18 years old. With every birthday, I just wonder who my real mom is and why she left me. But I am grateful for the family that raised me. She might not be related to me by blood, but she is my mom. Weird. This isn't mine. <laughs> I wish that I could have been the, the mother you deserved. Sweetie! Your birthday Pop-Tarts are ready. Mmm, and they smell delicious. Wow, thanks, Mom. It looks so good in here. Um, I found this on my nightstand. Is it yours? No, but it does look familiar. It's weird. Okay, well, I want to wear it. It's cute. Okay. Well, let me help you. It can't be. She was released from prison. That means she's back. Oh my god. Oh, it looks gorgeous on you. I made you a nail appointment for your birthday. It starts in 30 minutes, so you should probably get going. Oh, you're the best. Mom, thanks for being my mom. after all these years. Uh, how are you here? What are you even doing here? I got out of prison last night and I came straight over here. I couldn't miss Margot's 18th birthday. You missed every other year, Linda. Don't remind me. I messed up. I, I made the biggest mistake of my life. I have grown all these years regretting my life choices. I don't think today is the best day to do this. It's her birthday. And this is gonna be a shock. It has to be today. We have to tell her today. I want her in my life. I have to have her in my life. <sighs> that was so relaxing. Oh, I can't believe I'm 18. Woohoo! I'm so nervous. I 
I can't believe that I get to meet her today. I will say, I did see you guys earlier today. Are you spying on us? Linda, that's a little crazy. Wouldn't really call it spying. It was more like observing from a distance. Do you think she's gonna be excited? I'm so excited. How do you think she's gonna feel about all this? I don't know. She was just a baby when you left. And I'm sure she's always wanted to know who her biological mother is. I hope so. Evelyn, I wanna thank you for taking care of her for all these years. I don't know what I would have done without you. Mom, that was the most root. Oh, um, hi. Sweetie. Uh, Mom, who is this? I thought we were just gonna spend the day together, you and I. I think you're gonna wanna sit down for this, sweetie. Okay. This is Linda. She's your biological mother. What? Hi, Margo. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you. Um, I don't even know what to say right now. Were you in prison? And why are you coming here now? Wh why did you even leave in the first place? What happened? I mean, I just, I have so many questions. I, I, I know, and, and I'll, I'll try my best to answer them. Um, it's a long story. Uh, here I go. Uh, 18 years ago, I made a terrible mistake. I got into a lot of trouble. I had a drinking problem, a severe one. Evelyn knew. Your mother and I were close friends. We did everything together until that day. I made the biggest mistake of my life. Evelyn tried to help me, but I wasn't able to give up drinking until I was pregnant with you. And Evelyn helped me stay on track. She made sure I didn't take a sip of alcohol, only for it all to end up in a big mess. You were only five weeks old, but I couldn't resist. I got so drunk at the bar, and I ended up killing someone that night with my car. I got a DUI, and I've been in jail for the last 18 years. I've repented and I've worked on myself enough to know that I will never touch a drop of alcohol ever again. Not only did I ruin my life with you, but I ruined someone else's life. And I'm sorry will never be enough. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to process this right now. I mean, I wanted to know you my entire life and, and what happened, but you're a criminal. Not only did you ruin your life, you ruined someone else's life because you wanted a drink? Yes, I did. And it's okay, you can take it all out on me. You must have so much anger and confusion and feeling abandoned. And you knew all about this? Why didn't you tell me, Mom? I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't want to hurt you, and I felt that Linda should be the one to tell you the whole story. <sighs> Just give me some time. I need some space. You've got to do something, Linda. It's her birthday. Unfortunately, I think that she is more your daughter right now than she is mine. Can you talk to her for me? Of course. <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't even know how to feel. All these years, and on my birthday, she comes back to me? What does this even mean? Uh, what do I do? Sweetie. I can't imagine how you feel, but it wasn't my place to tell you about Linda. I know it was the hardest thing you've heard in your 18 years, but the truth always comes to light. I know, I just, I don't know how to move on from this and forgive her. I don't know that woman out there, Mom. But Margo, she is still your mom, and she still loves you. Sometimes you've got to remind yourself that there's no love without forgiveness, 
and there's no forgiveness without love. I know Linda has a lot to work on, but she came back to you after all these years. I hate to see you throw it all away when you both have another shot at it. You're right, but you will always be my mom, okay? <laughs> So, I was wondering if I could take you for ice cream for your birthday, or are you too old for that? I'm, I'm still trying to figure this all out. Um, ice cream actually sounds perfect, Linda. Uh, I really am looking forward to forgiving you and moving on, but just know it's going to take some time. Well, thankfully, for us, time is all that I have right now. Come here. Who the hell are you? It's our daughter's birthday. Please don't hurt us. I'm here to finish the job. You were never supposed to get out of prison, Linda. You're the reason I don't have a father. You're the reason I grew up with nobody! Why don't we all take a stroll down memory lane? Everybody in the car, now! This is the place where you couldn't control your alcohol. This is the place where you decided to drive home! I am so sorry. Really, I am sorry. Steven was your father. Wasn't he? Yes. He was. And it's John. Not that you deserve to know that. He took everything from me. I know. I am so sorry. If there was anything in the world that I could do to make it up to you, I would. And I know that there's nothing that can change what happened. I have spent the last 18 years of my life regretting those decisions that I made that day. Please, let me make it up to you. Please, John, just don't hurt anyone. I know that you don't want to, you're just hurting inside. Listen, I grew up without a mother too. My adopted mom raised me and she taught me everything that I know. And I know you didn't have that and I'm so sorry. So, John, we'd love to bring you into this family, care for you and, and love you. We know you've had a really hard time and you didn't get to grow up with your parents. Linda must die. She took everything from you. Revenge is not the answer. You're better than this. She ruined your life. You have your whole life ahead of you. Die, die, die. Shut up! Do it! Don't do it. Your dad wouldn't want you to do this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible person, but I'm not a monster, I promise. Revenge isn't ever the answer. I ruined your birthday. I, I ruined everything. No. I ruined everything. I'm so sorry. You let me. I will dedicate my life to being a parent to you and to Margo. How about we all go home and have a home-cooked meal? That sounds really nice. Welcome to the family, John.